stop coming and they don't 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 stop coming What's going on YouTube Chamber Productions coming back at you with another not Transformers video review and in today's video I have not one not two not three but four figures to to review so in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the dollar store robot transforming vehicles. Now there are four of these uh, little uh, dollar store KO uh, not transformers, whatever you want to call them, and I eh, got them. I got the whole set. There's a, there's four of them, and uh, I went into my local dollar store, and uh, yeah, they had them stocked up beyond all belief but you know i found these guys and i thought they were pretty funny and pretty neat so uh, just going over the packaging for all of them real quick we can see pretty simplistic packaging uh transform your robot right there and then we've got to open display of the figure this is the tank robot and then here on the back we've got a picture of all the other figures that are available which are four as i mentioned i'll be covering all four in this review we have a jet we have a boat we have a tank and we have a very interestingly colored truck so we're going to actually start off with uh, let's start off with the tank um as I drop one of my good figures off my display area. So we're actually going to start with the tank here. So here we have the tank robot. So let's just go ahead and tear right into the packaging real quick. Very simplistic packaging. And then remove that and just pull the figure out the clamshell. And uh, honestly, doesn't <laughs> look that bad. Um... Yeah, tank mode looks pretty good. Done with tan and brown plastic. There are no paint applications on this figure whatsoever, but pretty decent looking tank mode, as we can see. Uh, transformation on this guy. Let's, uh, where is his picture go? All right. So, okay. All right. So, take the arms and I guess fold them down. Then the front here will fold out. And then fold this panel here down. And here we have the tank robot in his, well, robot mode. And honestly, doesn't look all that bad. I mean, as you can see, pretty, very simplistic. Uh, kind of reminds me of the uh, G1 Transformers. You know, those things were bricks. Those original toys from the 1980s. But, you know, ain't all that bad. A uh, little bit of looseness in the joints. But it is a dollar store figure. Not too bad. Head sculpt pretty good i wish they would have at least given us a little bit of uh just like paint any paint applications would have helped with this figure i mean at least some of the other ko's try to give us you know those cheap paint applications that rub off after like two seconds of you messing with a figure yeah i'm looking at you but yeah overall this guy isn't all too terribly bad let's set him off to the side let's take a look at the truck robot we're going to just go ahead look at this amazing packaging real quick let y'all take it in and we're just going to dive right into this. So, uh, there we go. Throw that off to the side. Open this up. And pull the figure out. And uh, here we have the uh, truck robot. And I've <laughs> I've got to admit, this is a, a very interesting color scheme. Um, <laughs> as we can see here, the figure does have some looseness in the transformational joints. Um, but overall, not too bad. Uh, Missile launcher articulation, as we can see, full 360 up and down, so not too bad. Uh, just interesting choice in color scheme. Uh, this gray and this almost like sky blue, it's more of a, it's like an extremely light blue. It's coming off as light blue on camera, but it's a lot lighter, if that makes any sense, blue. It's almost like, I, I think the word, I think it's baby blue, I think is what you would use to describe it. Anyhow. Not bad looking truck mode. Get the missiles here on the top. Let's go ahead and transform it. And for the transformation, I think you just straight up fold the legs down and pull the arms out. And um, yeah, robot mode for this guy. Not too shabby. Um, very simplistic transformation. Detail is there and there are no paint applications again. Um, let's try to... Will he, no, he will not stand up. Uh, maybe there's a way to remove the bat packet. You can. Okay, so you can't have the figure standing up. So... You know, you can get that going on, but then you just have a giant missile thing to set off to the side. But 
Overall, for the truck robot, not too terribly bad. Some paint applications wouldn't have done them well, but let's go ahead and take a look at the boat robot. And <laughs> they couldn't even match this up, the vacuum sealing process for the uh, the clamp or whatever they do for this, um, for the shell. They couldn't even, like, get it on the packaging all the way. So let's just go ahead and open this guy up. And pop him out the shell, which he's actually kind of secured in, which is kind of surprising. And... You know, here we have the boat, and honestly, not too terribly bad. Looks pretty good. Uh, it does have a little bit of difficulties wanting to uh, stay together, as you can see. But uh, overall, not too bad. We've even got what appears to be a little bit of turret articulation there. There at the front, and is, he's just kind of this red and gray battleship. Pretty nice. So, minimal detail, it's there. No paint applications. Uh, so, for the transformation, um... I don't want to break them, so you fold the arms down. Do you pull them out, or do they just... Please tell me you pull the arms. What do you do with the arms? Let me check the... <laughs> okay. Alright, let me check the uh, packaging for this guy. Of course, he fell all the way. His packaging fell all the way over here. So, it appears that you just have one arm fold folded down like that, and the other one sticking up like that. Is that what I'm getting? Okay, we'll just move on with the transformation then. Pull the legs down. And there you go. Um, I don't even think you can move the arms all the way down. I don't think they move out any further or anything. So they're just kind of stuck like this. But uh, yeah, this is an interesting one. I'll be honest. This is uh, interesting. Unique. Um, yeah, again, no paint applications. Just a static little brick of a robot. And, um, yeah, okay, uh, this is, this is a thing, this, this is, yeah, very, very, uh, interesting robot mode. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the final figure in this four waves of, uh, not Transformers goodness, the Jet. Let's just go ahead, I'm actually quite excited for this figure, um, let's just go ahead and dive right in and indulge in the amazing world of not transformers so popping this guy out i just threw that at myself honestly jet mode isn't that bad pretty nice little jet mode um yeah ain't that this ain't all too terribly bad there are no paint applications whereas these other figures you know had different like colors of plastic this this figure here appears to have no color differencing in the plastic at all um so yeah very plain looking figure but anyway let's get them transformed so i'm assuming you fold the cockpit down and then take the <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> how is he going to be able to stand okay so for this guy it looks like you just fold down the thruster section and fold up these little pieces here and there we have it Alrighty, yeah, here he is. Um, very interesting looking, very simplistic transformation. Um, you know, has virtually no articulation. This guy doesn't even have a face. He's just got, what, a unibrow and a nose. Okay, that, yep, that's all a metal robot needs, is a unibrow and a nose. Just perfect. Perfect. Um, Alright. Yeah, so let's bring out the full team real quick. Let's get, there we go, all right, tank robot. Um, boat robot, and, oh gosh. And uh, we'll remove the, um, oh, well I guess you can do that too. Um, and uh, truck robot here. So here we have the uh, team of four figures, and they're not bad KOs for uh, being dollar store, um, dollar store figures, but I mean, they're not great. <laughs> they're good party favors. Just leave it at that. Literally, this guy has minimal detail, and the robot mode is just 
no paint applications. This figure is so drab looking. Tank Robot is okay. He definitely is not up to standard with most modern Transformers. He kind of tanked in the uh, Transformers community. Uh, Boat Robot, I'm not sure what's going on with the arms. I mean, they couldn't even get his arms to come out to the side. <laughs> Yet again, I don't know why I thought they would due to the transformation and uh, just given the fact this is a Dollar Tree figure. And then this guy here has the most interesting color scheme in a Transformers figure I think I have ever seen. Um, so yeah, overall, Truck Robo is pretty decent. Boat Robo is... Uh, Unique. I honestly think this guy's pretty neat. Um, yeah, he, he's unique. Um, Tank Robo is actually pretty solid, and then Jet Robo is. Yeah, as you can, and throughout the entire time I've been talking, this guy's been wobbling back and forth. This guy has no stability um, if he leans too far back, as you just saw. And then when you have the giant missiles plugged into the back of this figure, there is absolutely no chance you're going to be able to get them to get them to stand up. And I mean, all these figures, if they look like they have no articulation, this is the articulation you get. I'll do articulation check. Okay. Uh, almost a full 360. Perfect. <laughs> um, up and down movement, waist swivel, I guess. Waist swivel, full 360, and I don't even know what you would call that. Articulation, this guy, same thing. Uh, it is hindered by the kibble here. Um, a little bit of arm movement, there you go, and Jet Robo, forward movement in the arms, leg movement, that is too loose, and then, what would you even consider that, is, would you consider those his knees or his ankles? Like, I don't even know what you consider that, he's got these super lanky legs, and these super, just, uh, weird proportions. Okay, um, overall, what do I, what do I think of this team? They're <laughs> they're not terrible. If you see them and you decide you want one, I uh, they're they they're worth what they cost. Um, you get what you pay for. <laughs> I forget trying to get you to stand up. They're worth what you pay for. Um, you're getting what you pay for with these guys. They're not terrible. Should you buy them? I don't know. Are you looking for comedic value? Probably. That's why I got these. I thought they'd be fun to review. And uh, they surely did not disappoint in the slightest bit. But guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of the robot transforming vehicle group in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all from me, Champion Productions, signing off.